Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's lesson of our writing program. So today is Tuesday, so that means we're going to do lesson two of our writing program. And today we're going to focus on informative writing. So our learning intention for today is we are learning to tell the difference between a fiction and non-fiction text. So there are two new words there that you might not know. The first one is fiction and the next one is non-fiction. And throughout our lesson, we'll be learning about what those two words mean. Our success criteria for today is, I can identify when a statement or text is fiction. And when something is fiction, it means it's not true. The next one is, I can identify when a statement or text is not in fiction. And that means it's true. So we're going to just look through the three different types of texts that we are going to be working with throughout this unit. And the first one is fiction. The next one is fact. And the last one is opinions. Now, if we have a look at the first one, there's a picture of a pig there with wings. And that might look a bit funny at first, but I'll explain why. So a fiction text is something that is make-believe or imaginary. So if someone has made it up from their imagination, then it is fiction. So that's why we've got a picture of a pig with wings here, because we know that pigs don't really have wings and they can't really fly. So that must be make-believe. It must be fiction. Now, the next one is fact. And fact is something that is always true. So that's why we've got a big tick here, because that shows us that something is a fact, and that means it's true. And the last one down here is opinion. And that's something that we might think or feel. This is our own thoughts. So that's why we've got a picture of a voting box here, like when we're in the classroom and we might vote for what book to read that day. I might ask you to put your hand up if you'd like to read this book. Put your hand up if you'd like to read that book. That's telling me what you think or feel. And that is your opinion. So let's just go through each one. The first one is facts. Facts are something that are always true. So a fact about today might be that it is a sunny day today. I look out the window and it is sunny today, so that is a fact, it is true. Fiction is something that is make-believe or imaginary. And just like our pig with wings, it could be a fish with wings or a cat that can talk. These are things that are made up or make-believe or imaginary. Now, those are the two things we're going to be focusing on today, fiction or non-fiction. Non-fiction is just another way of saying fact. So let's have a look at the fiction side first, the pink side. I'm going to go through each point about what a fiction text might be. So a fiction text might be made up. It's got a plot, which is a story. It's got settings, which are the places and characters that are all created from someone's imagination. We might read it in order, like a storybook. You read it in order. It tells a story. It's got a beginning, a middle, and an end. It might have illustrations, which are drawings that someone has done to show what's happening in the book. And we might read or watch this text for fun or entertainment. We read it to laugh. We read it to have fun. We might read it because it's funny, because it makes us feel good. That's what entertainment is. And some <clears throat> examples of some fiction texts might be a book about a cat that talks or a cartoon show that you might watch on TV about a made up story. Now let's go over to the next side, non-fiction text. So a non-fiction text 
is about true facts that might be about real people or real events that really happened. We can read it in any order. It might teach us something. So we might look at a nonfiction text to learn something new. It might have photographs of real things inside it. And we might read or watch this text for information or to learn something. And examples of a nonfiction text are a book about a real animal. Like you might read a book about elephants or giraffes or monkeys. Or it could even be a documentary on TV about something that happened in real life. Now, here's where we get to have a little bit of fun. So we're going to play a bit of a guessing game where I'm going to show you a text. We'll have a little bit of a look at the text. We will look for clues in the words or the pictures. And I'm going to give you about 10 seconds of time to decide whether it's a fiction or a non-fiction text. So each time we look at a text, I'm going to set my time of 10 seconds. You'll hear my buzzer go off at the end and then we'll move on to find the answer. Let's start with the first one. So this is The Gruffalo, a book that we love reading at school. Now I want you to think, is this book fiction made up or is it non-fiction about true facts and real things? Hmm, the Gruffalo. Think about the characters in the story. Think about the story that happens. It made us laugh. We enjoyed it. We read the book for entertainment. Have a bit of a think now. I'll just set my timer for 10 seconds. And then when you hear the buzzer go off, that means stop. Off you go. Okay, time's up. Let's see what it is. All right, The Gruffalo is a fiction text. It is a story. It has characters. And just like our pig with wings, it was made up from somebody's imagination. Let's move on to the next one. All right, this is Pig the Pug, one of our other favorite books that we love to read at school. It's got our funny Pig the Pug character that we love to read about so much. Have a little think about this one. Is this book fiction made up or is it non-fiction about real things? I'll give you 10 seconds of time. Off you go. All right, time's up. Let's see. Okay, so Pig the Pug is a fiction text. It is a made-up story about a made-up dog with made-up characters in it. Well done, everybody. Let's keep going. Now, this one looks a little bit different to the books that we've already seen. This one is called All About Dogs. Hmm, All About Dogs. Now I can also see a photograph there in the middle of the front cover and it's a photo of a real dog. Hmm, all about dogs. What do you think? Do you think that in this book there's going to be a story or do you think there's going to be some real facts about dogs in this book? I'll give you 10 seconds, here we go. There's the timer, let's see what it is. It is a non-fiction text. This book called All About Dogs is going to teach me some information about dogs. I don't think there's going to be a story in there. I think it's going to be an information text. Good job, everybody, let's move on. Right, let's have a look at this one. This book is called The Arts and Crafts Busy Book. 
Hmm. Now, if I have a look at the front cover here, I can see a real photo of a lady helping a little girl with her arts and crafts activity. And it says here that it's an arts and craft activity book to help keep people busy. Ah, all right. So I'm not sure that there's going to be a story in here. I think it might teach me how to do some arts and crafts activities. What do you think? I'll give you 10 seconds. Off you go. Oh, there's the buzzer. Let's move on. Oh, it's a non-fiction text. Right. So it's going to have some real information in there, teaching me how to do some real arts and crafts activities. There is not a story in this book. I don't think there's any made up characters in this book. It's going to have instructions about how to do arts and crafts activities. So it must be non-fiction. Let's go to the next one. All right, so the next one looks interesting too. This is an ebook. Now, an ebook is a book that you might read online. So you might be able to read an ebook on your laptop or your computer or your iPad or an iPhone. So when I have a look at the name of this book, the title, it's called The Bear Who Came to Babysit. Oh, that already sounds like a funny title. Now, when I have a look at the front cover picture, I can see a big bear, I can see two children. And then when I look over to the inside of the story, I can see pictures and some words. Yeah, it looks like a story to me. I can see some funny, crazy things going on and some funny characters too. Hmm. So here's some time to think. Is it a fiction book about something made up? Or is it non-fiction about a real thing? Off you go. All right, there's the buzzer again. Let's find out. This book is a fiction book. So like we said before, there were characters there was a funny, crazy story going on in there. And it looks like someone has drawn these pictures, has drawn these illustrations. They don't look like real photos to me. So it is a made up fiction text. Well done, everybody. Let's go to the next one. All right, so the next one looks like a screenshot of a video. I can see the play button in the middle there. And this looks like a video you might find on somewhere like YouTube. Now, if we have a look at the name of the video, there are some words there and it says the moon. Hmm, that's interesting. There's also a real photo of the real moon. So now have a think. Do you think it is a fiction, a made up story, or do you think it's a non-fiction text about real things? Off you go, I'll put on 10 seconds. All right, let's find out. This video about the moon is a non-fiction text and it's a non-fiction text because it is going to teach us information about the real moon. It's going to teach us true facts about the moon. It doesn't look like there's going to be a story told here. There are no characters. There's nothing crazy or funny going on. It's going to have some real information about the moon. Let's go to the next one. So this text is called Kookaburra. Hmm, interesting. It's also got a photograph of a real kookaburra there. 
And when I have a look at the words, it looks like information that is going to teach me something about kookaburras. Hmm, have a think now. Do you think this one is going to be a made up text that is fiction? Or do you think it's going to be a non-fiction text that is going to teach us true facts about kookaburras? Have a think now. I'll give you 10 seconds. Off you go. All right, your 10 seconds is up. Let's find out what it is. So our kookaburra text is a non-fiction text. It does look like it's going to be about true facts about kookaburras. It's going to teach me about kookaburras. There's no story going on here. There's no made up characters. It's a non-fiction text. So before we go today, we're just going to go back and have a quick look at our learning intention and our success criteria, just to make sure we did everything we needed to do in today's lesson. So our learning intention says, we are learning to tell the difference between a fiction and non-fiction text. I think we did that. We started doing that at the beginning of the lesson when we had a look at what a fiction text is and then we had a look at what a non-fiction text is. So we compared the two things. Now for our success criteria, our first one is I can identify when a statement or text is fiction or not true. I think we did that too when we played our fiction and non-fiction game and we looked at different texts and we decided whether they were fiction or non-fiction. And our second success criteria was, I can identify when a statement or text is non-fiction or true. And we did that in our game as well. We had a look at a few non-fiction texts and we decided whether they were fiction or non-fiction. So I hope you enjoyed taking part in our informative writing lesson today, everybody. Thank you so much for playing along. And I hope you had fun with our little guessing game. I definitely had fun making it for you. I'll see you for our next lesson next time. Bye.